been a while since we've had Jean-Jacques Taylor on, one of our faves, ESPNDallas.com columnist. Back on the program. How's morale in Dallas there, Jean-Jacques? Well, I'm on my way back, but we're going to base it on what, how that morale was in the locker room. That was a kick to crotch yesterday, man. Big time kick, steel toe boots. Okay, take me, take me into. <laughs> I missed you, Jean Jean. Uh, okay, steel toe, teal, toe boots, a kick to the crotch. What was it like in the locker room? Uh, you know, some guys didn't talk. Uh, you know, Jason Witten, normally as stand up as you can get. He disappeared for most of the locker room. I think he showed up at the end for just a few minutes and just a few people kind of caught him as he was leaving. That almost never happens. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys were speaking very softly. Some guys, even if they did speak, they cut it down real short. You know, if you normally talk 10 minutes, like Sean Lee, 15 minutes, that was about three or four or five minutes. And it was like, you know what, guys, I got to go. And so uh, that one hurt yesterday. Uh, they may need a little bit more than the traditional 24-hour morning period for that one. Well, you know, they everything that happened, they still should have won. Uh, when you look at giving up 600 yards of total offense, Calvin Johnson with you know his monster performance, but you still should have won the game. You don't have a holding call, you know, stop the clock. Just little things again with Dallas. Is it is it a coincidence here, or is this, you know, do you believe habit forming? Oh, no, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that good teams find ways to win and either bad teams or teams that are traditionally stuck in this stench of mediocrity like the Cowboys consistently find creative ways to lose. And that's what yesterday was. because And, and it was a team loss. You know, the, you know, this morning you got people trying to blame Romo, the defense, Garrett Callahan, Monty Kiffin. I mean, it was really a team loss because, no, the defense didn't play well. But they gave you four turnovers because we know this defense stinks. It's bad. So all they can give you is turnovers. That's what they do. That's all they can do. And they've given them 19, and they had 16 all of last year. So they did what they were supposed to do. They gave you four turnovers, and you're supposed to build a lead and then hold on at the end. And then the offense uh, doesn't do anything with the ball. Tony Romo was awful through three quarters yesterday. He was he got hit early, and then he started seeing ghosts. He started seeing rush where there was none. You can't win when your hundred million dollar quarterback is going to play like that for three quarters. And so, and then at the end, they got no push. I didn't mind the play call. We knew what are you trying to do at that time? You're trying to burn clock. And so, you can't get a holding call, man. If you can tackle, fine. So be it. The clock is running. The clock is your friend. That's fundamental football. My eight year old teams know that, man. So they make dumb mistakes like that, then they lose, and then they sit around and look sad. Does Des Bryant have a point? Uh, yeah, and here's the point. Now, he didn't go about it the right way. Okay, you can't be cussing out your quarterback in the heat of the moment. Uh, now, what I like, what I think is funny is the series before Des did that, Jason Witten is jumping up and down on the field. He's jumping up and down 20 yards later on the field. He goes on the sideline, takes his helmet off. He's cussing up a storm. He's ranting. He's raving. The cameras don't love Jason Witten. The cameras love Des Bryant. <laughs> and so there was frustration throughout all that offense. But here's the deal with Des. And I'm sure, and I, I didn't talk to him yesterday, but I'm sure he's sitting around going, why is it almost the fourth quarter and I got six targets? Why can't we find a way to give me the ball? And uh, because when I'm getting the ball, I'm being productive. Why can't we find a way to get me the ball when I see the other guy on the other side? Every time I look up, he's getting a pass thrown to him. And so when you put all that up and the offense struggling, yeah, you're going to have a meltdown. So I think his point is find ways to get me the ball, get me involved in the offense so we can do more than have 95 yards on the first 27 plate. He's Jean-Jacques Taylor, the uh, ESPNDallas.com columnist joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Yeah, he does have a point. I do think Des Bryant got caught up in the competition with Calvin Johnson. He sees Calvin getting, you know, 14 catches over 300 yards and Des saying, look, get me the ball. Why didn't they get him the ball? Well, uh, this is a, and I have gone back on this for several, as long as Jason Garrett's been the offensive coordinator. And even though he's not calling plays now, Bill Callahan calling plays, so it's the same fundamental offensive philosophy. The Cowboys, under Jason Garrett, believe philosophically we take what the defense gives us because we got weapons. We got Dez, we got Witten, we now got Terrence Williams. Most weeks we have DeMarco Murray. We take 
what you give us. You want to double this guy? We go over here. Some weeks that works. Other weeks it doesn't. Now, if I were an offensive coordinator, I'd take what I want. You know, <laughs> screw you. I'm going to get what I want. And uh, But that's not the way the Cowboys do it. That's not Jason Garrett's way. And uh, sometimes it works, but occasionally it doesn't. And yesterday was one of those days. Great to visit with you. Good to have you back on, Jean Jacques. Hey, play some Tupac in honor of this. <laughs> I'll work on that. Thank you, Jean Jacques. Uh, right, uh, Jean Jacques Taylor, ESPN Dallas.com columnist. Good to have him back on. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.